As wildfires rage across parts of Arizona, we're learning more about the dangers those on the ground face when trying to extinguish the flames. Along with dealing with the heat, the topography, the fuels, and then you throw the mine shafts on top of it. We spoke with Hillside Fire Operations Chief Billy Morris, who's been busy fighting several wildfires this summer. He says abandoned mine shafts, which are sprinkled throughout the state, can be fatal when fighting a wildfire. When you're not expecting it in the middle of the night or in the evening time when we're fighting these fires, uh, you run upon a, uh, a mine shaft, it can be a deadly situation. He says they ran into mine shafts while working a wildfire near Congress last week. We found a few of them. The biggest danger is tripping and falling one. Falling in can be deadly. According to the Arizona State Mining Inspector, these mine shafts can easily be more than 100 feet deep. With firefighters battling intense fires, it can be difficult to spot them, so they work to map them out ahead of time. Our members can go out and they can plot them in the maps so that everybody on the fire can see where they're at. It's not just a fall that poses a problem. It's also what's left inside. According to the Bureau of Land Management, prior to 1981, mine operators could simply walk away from a mine without removing safety or environmental hazards. This means there could be some serious structural issues inside, and in rare cases, even old explosives left behind. Though in his experience, Moore says he hasn't found any of that in Arizona. It, it just depends. You know, all the mine shafts are different. If a firefighter does fall in, Morris says the medical team at wildfires typically have equipment on hand to help pull them out. It's important to note mine shafts can be deadly for anyone. In September of 2007, a 13-year-old girl died when she fell into a mine shaft in Arizona. And then five months later, a 19-year-old fell in and died as well. Now, the Bureau of Land Management says about 25 people a year die across the country from accidents related to abandoned mines. You mentioned the signs that go up, Stephen. Mm -hmm. So if the signs are up like that and firefighters have to go into the area because there's a fire moving through, do they have to do anything differently? Or is there anything they can do differently if they see a sign? Yeah, so uh, the thing is, is sometimes they're not even marked. They, mm. they have a map that generally right. says where they are, but sometimes there's because there's so many, they're not marked on the maps. So they'll put up modified fences. They'll they'll tape them off temporarily. Also, when these firefighters are fighting these fires, they can see those fences. They can see that tape, and they know to stay away. To stay away if they can see through the smoke. If yes. there's smoke between them, um, boy, that is a big hazard. And there's so many of them in remote parts of the state. Thanks so much. Uh, new